hi, it's Amy from Winterwood Studio, and today I thought we would have a little studio tour. <laughs> I'll open all my cabinets and all my drawers and show you all of my supplies briefly and how I have everything organized and where everything is. You'll get to see my easel over here, which I don't think you've seen yet, and then that side of the room, which is like a sitting area, and little Miss Frita lives over there. And yeah, we'll have lots of fun just rummaging through all my supplies. <laughs> Um, I tried to clean it up as best I could. It is a very small room, um, and all my art supplies have to fit in here, so every cr cranny and nook is packed full. <laughs> so be aware of that before you watch it. I won't be able to list all the products down below in the description. If you have a specific question about a certain product, let me know down in the comments, and if I'm not just totally overwhelmed with comments, I will try to answer you and let, let you know what it is you're asking about. So come on in, get a cup of something nice to drink, and let's rummage through my cabinets. <laughs> Welcome to my studio. So this is the door to my studio. We found this in the attic of the garage last winter. Uh, we think this is the original door for here and it used to have glass in it. My husband's going to make some panels for it at some point, um, but we he just put some cedar panels in here for now just so that I can shut the door and it's quieter in there. So this is my studio as we're going through the door here. So this part is the part you probably never see. Um, that's the desk I usually film at. Um, and then this is our front door. So yeah, it's <laughs> not usable with the, the easel in front of it, unfortunately. Um, but that was the only place to put it. So that's where it is. And then on this side, it sort of acts as like our little guest room. When we have guests, we take little Miss Frita out um, and the futon folds out. Let's go check on her, cause she heard me talking. There she is. She keeps me company. Yes, I'll take you out in a minute. Yes. So then this is my studio from this way. It is very small and every single art supply I own has to fit in here. So it is a little cluttered and crowded, but I don't really have a choice. So this is my filming desk. Let's see, I'll just move this light out of the way for a minute. That is what the light and stand I use for my phone when I'm doing an Instagram reel. Okay, so these are my drawers. This is the set my dad made me and this is the set I bought. Um, let's see, this top drawer has the Prisma colors that aren't light fast, but that I still like to use like in my sketchbooks and stuff. And then this drawer has just some willy nilly stuff like my embossing tools and extra erasers and gel pens and pencils and some Pigma Microns, um, refills for my pastel pencils for when I run out of these colors. This drawer has my light fast Faber-Castell polychromos. They're sorted out so that anything that's under 25 years isn't in here. Um, everything in here is 25 years or more and most of it is 50 or more. And then this drawer has my collection of Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. And this drawer has my light fast Prismacolor pencils. These are all 50 plus years for light fast ratings. Oops. More light fast Prismacolors. And is there anything in this bottom drawer? I feel like it might be empty. It is. Where am I? I went. Oh, and right here is my handful of the Derwent light fast pencils that I've tried as well. So this is my working area right here. This right here is my large sheet of pa sheets of pastel mat paper. Um, I just have to just store things where I can fit them because it is such a small space. Um, and then I just opened a few things so this is messier than normal. But I always have my colored pencil sharpener on here. 
as well as my little palettes of watercolor paint. And then let's turn around. So over on this side, we have like my journaling station. I sit here each morning and do some journaling. Um, and in the winter, I do my light box here. So I've got like journaling supplies here. And um, my art journal is here, my brain dump journal, my gratitude journal, and then my bullet journal, um, which I would be lost without. So like I said, this is my journaling area. This is my business printer over here. And then, I don't know, it's kind of dark in here. It's really foggy today. All of my art journaling, <laughs> art journaling pens and stuff are here. And then, this is my laser printer here um, for when I'm foiling things. And then this top drawer is all of my art journaling supplies. So all of my washi tapes are in here, um, my alphabet stamps, some glue, my papers, just various different cutters and things, some craft paint, more pens, just stuff like that is in here. And then um, this very bottom drawer has, this bottom drawer has some um, glossy photo paper, my chipboard, some of my foils, um, craft paper. Um, this is a printable vinyl sticker paper, um, shipping labels, uh, more foils. Um, this is my mink kit. These are the papers that I use in the mink machine to make bookmarks and um, um, prints when I make foiled ones. And then way down here are my laminating sleeves for when I laminate my bookmarks. And then peeking out back here, this is m where I store my large sheets of watercolor paper. And I know it's not ideal, but like I said, I have to do what I have to do. And then on the side here, I have um, some larger size UART sanded paper. And then my extra sponges and papers for my Stay Wet, wet palette. Let's look underneath and see what I have under my desk because every inch of space in here is used. Okay, so right here, this is my big fine art printer and it's on this like benchy thing that my husband made and I can just pull the whole thing out when I'm printing prints and um, probably not ideal but I have my stay wet palette on top of it and then my gouache palette and my little light pad and this over here is all packing supplies for packing orders back when I used to have my own shop. I used to pack orders all the time. The lid on this is broken, I need a new one. Um, and then this is where I store my finished works. And then I have some more UART paper here, and then this is my oil painting palette. And then before we get into what's in all the drawers and over here, this right here is my digital art and um, computer editing workstation. So obviously the computer. And then back here I have like my pen and ink supplies and my Copic marker collection. If you can see it back there. My Copic marker collection. And then obviously I do all my voiceover stuff here. So there's my microphone. And then under this sheet here is my XP pen tablet. And then I do keep all of my paint brushes over here on the windowsill. And then underneath, I have a bigger light box, an old fashioned one, um, and some canvases, and I think some packing boxes too, plus my larger size ampersand boards that I use for taping down watercolors. And that's my mink machine right there. Okay, so here we are at my main organizer. Up here we have my Cricut Explore Air 2 and then the pads for it just slide underneath. I keep all my artist tape over here and some paper towels. 
Um, this is my charging station for my uh, iPad. And then we're getting into all my papers and journals and stuff. That right there is obviously my backpack for when I go plain air painting. And yes, the bottom door on this cabinet is still broke. I haven't had time to fix it. I'm going to move this backpack so I can show you what I have over here. So these are all my papers here. This is my carpal tunnel brace because I've been dealing with some of that since I started YouTube. So I have um, pastel paper on top, Strathmore pastel, Canson, Mead Taunts, Tannis, the Canson uh, dry mixed media sand grain. Um, I have watercolor paper. This is my big this is my big watercolor pad that I just got from Jerry's that I haven't had a chance to test yet. Oh, this is more pastel paper. My small pot, small pad of Claire Fontaine pastel mat. Um, and then this is my Frederick's canvas pad that I'm going to be using to practice with some of my paints. Um, I'm not supposed to show that yet. This is one of my favorite sheet papers for practicing and making sketchbooks and stuff out of. This is the Fabriano Studio Hot Press Watercolor Paper. It's super cheap. I love that. I use, use that all the time. It's great for colored pencils too. It's actually one of my go-to papers for colored pencils. Skip that. Arches, cold press paper, um, some larger size canvas panels, Stonehenge craft paper, and arches hot press, arches cold press, arches hot press. So that's that pile of paper there. Down here is all my pen and ink paper. So this, all the yellow papers are Strathmore Bristol board in either smooth or vellum in different sizes. Some more arches cold press because this one's almost empty. I've got, I think, two sheets left in it. Um, and then this is my giant, giant sketch, sketch pad for sketching out large paintings on and some extra gesso board. Um, and I think this is, I found these back in the back of the cabinet the other day. This is the Canson oil and acrylic paper and I had like three of them. I think somebody gave them to me. Um, but I thought they would be great for practicing my acrylic on. I haven't tried them yet, so I can't say for sure, but I'm hopeful. So I am got out one of those and I'm gonna be practicing on that. And let's see, what else do we have down here? Uh, this is the Strathmore Toned Mixed Media Paper Pad. Um, that is palette paper. Okay, so over here we have my big Canson XL Black Drawing Paper. And then, okay, so these over here are pastels. So I have um, the, they don't fit in my pastel cabinet. So this is my Paul Rubens Artist Soft Pastels. Uh, that they sent me to try. These are my Paul Rubens oil pastels um, in the Seascape set, and this I bought myself and am planning to review further on um, this summer. And then these are my Sennelier Paris Collection soft pastels. And now let's drop way down. I'm gonna move you because this is really where I keep most of my pastels. So this is where I keep most of my pastels. Um, there is also my empty polychromo tin um, that I just keep here because I haven't been able to throw it away yet, but um, let's see. So I have on top some of my pan pastels. Uh, the rest I will show you in a minute. These are just the ones that I've been using lately. Um, and then I have all of these boxes are my unison pastels. So unison, unison, unison. That's what I have for unison. These are the Mungio cheapest soft pastels you can buy. I have a couple um, tutorials with these up on the video or up on my channel if you want to check it out. These are my Prismacolor new pastels 24 set. Um, I'm pretty sure these are discontinued. You can't buy open stock anymore. I've been trying to find an alternative, and I think I decided on these right here, which are the Rembrandts, but I'm still not 100% positive. Um, oops. So then over on this side, we have some smaller sets. I have my Sennelier 
Um, I think these are the Stormy Sky set. And then I have some Rembrandt Darks set. As well as my Golden Pastel Ground. And my Stabilo. Here, let's move these. These are my Stabilo Pastel Pencils. The Pentel Oil Pastels. And you're not supposed to see that one yet. These are my Faber Castile Pit Pastel Pencils. Here are the Mungio Gallery Pastels that I just used the other day. And then underneath them are my Rembrandt 90 set of soft pastels. Sitting right down on the floor now, every little inch of this room is packed with stuff. Um, here we have a bunch of little canvas panels. And this is my... Um, folding and scoring board. This is my Matt Duralar um, for colored pencil work and some papers for art journaling here. Because it's such a small space, like literally every corner is packed. I have done my best to try to keep it organized. I, I have had at least one person comment and say that she felt like it was way too cluttered for her to watch the video. Um, but again, everything that I have for art supplies has to fit in this room because our house is so small. So, it is cluttered. Every corner is packed with supplies, and that's just the way it is. <laughs> I'm going to take you down into this bottom cabinet now with the door that's still broken. So we're at this bottom cabinet. Down here I have um, some more canvases. This one's tracing paper. This is just regular paper. And then we have extra sketchbooks and notebooks in this one. All right, so now we're at the back two cabinet doors this one this one has lots of canvas panels and um, some smaller size canvases plus my pool noodle um, uh, pool noodle blenders for my soft pastels this bottom one has my camera equipment that I'm not using mailer envelopes I think or maybe those are my fine art papers I think they're my fine art papers for when I do prints and these are for setting up like um, photo shoots for products. I use those mostly when I was doing my jewelry shop. I think these are fine art papers. These are my fine art papers. They're 100% cotton papers from my Canon Pixma Pro 200 printer. So in a couple different sizes. Boy, I hope this is video is even usable. I don't know how wobbly it is or anything. Actually, I realized I forgot to film this section. This is just the sketchbooks that I'm working on right now. Um, and then my color cube. So, okay, so now we're to this section here. And I just realized I forgot to show you the drawers behind me, but we'll come back to that. Over here in this stand is stuff that I am working with right now or planning to be working with this week. Um, so I've got my new gouache sets here. Um, this is my Windsor and Newton designer gouache in its airtight palette. I was trying to see if I could rehydrate this three-year-old Hemi gouache. Uh, it's not going great, but I'll keep working on it. And then we're getting into some of the acrylics that I'm going to be testing soon. I've got some paintbrushes out that I was using. Um, this is the book binding kit I got. I'm gonna make myself um, a sketchbook. But I haven't got there yet. And then drawing pencils. That's pretty much I have to hang some hooks for hanging canvases to dry. That's pretty much in this top section what I have. And then in the bottom section are all the acrylic sets and the water mixable oils I think. For the video that I have planned that I'm going to be working on. Starting with the drawers. Here, let's move my little radio out of the way. This bottom one is my acrylic paints from before. Um, there's the smaller Stay Wet palette, not Stay Wet brand, a different brand. And the acrylic paints that I had from before. Um, and then just like, you know, Everything loose in here, some spray bottles, some different mediums. Um, this one I haven't tried yet. I've got to try that one. And then the drawer above it 
is my oil painting drawer. So these are all my oil paints. This is the divider. My Invisiglove, that's getting kind of low. I might need to get some more. Um, these are the new mediums that I just got. I put them in this bag to keep them separate so I know which ones to test when I'm testing them. My oil paints, old mediums, um, some detail brushes that I have to test. I don't know why this isn't here. This should be in the other drawer. Um, this was the set that I first started to learn with. Actually, I think I got two of the same set because it was buy one, get one. And this is the one I haven't opened yet. Um, these are the Winton colors. And uh, just, you know, like liquid, that kind of stuff in here. Razor scraper for scraping my palette. It's a glass palette. I didn't show it to you. It's a great glass palette um, that I use for my oil paint. And then this drawer right here is my watercolor drawer. So I've got my portable palette in here that I still have to set up and some mixing palettes. Um, my This is my big Daniel Smith palette here. And this has um, the Mission Golds that are light fast plus those other paints that I got in the watercolor battle video. And then all my tubes of paint. And then it just has various stuff like the, the gold leafing. I can't even see what I'm seeing on here. The gold leaf and silver leaf that I use. Um, the transparent and um, this is the titanium white, I think. Watercolor grounds. And some liquid mask i don't like that brand oh this is supposed to go in the other drawer yeah it probably won't fit so that's my watercolor drawer it's a little annoying to have these cords going in front all the time but they're powering everything that's on this desk and it has to be in the front so i can switch things out so i don't really have a choice with that this i think is yep more papers for the printer um these are the when I offered prints on my Etsy shop, um, I had just like a heavy matte cardstock for a cheaper price and then um, the 100% cotton paper for a more expensive price. And this is the, the cheaper paper, I think. Yeah, this one too. Um, I just think I broke the cut on my hand open. And then this is all other like printer stuff, like this setup CD and more papers and paper for the Cricut. Oh, I'm bleeding. Um, and then just some other like uh, a photo paper sampler and then some Cricut, rolls of Cricut um, vinyl and stuff in here. And then I don't know if you can see or not, but I have more canvases over here, bigger canvases tucked in there. Um, this is my mishmash drawer as I call it. Um, it's got just like some drawing supplies in it and some stencils and my color wheel and like some of the fine liners I don't use on a regular basis. Um, a fountain pen I haven't filled up yet. Refills for all of my other pens that take refills. Um, these I've been meaning to try and haven't tried yet. These are my water soluble graphite pencils. Um, I've been meaning to try those and I haven't tried that yet. And then these are just some sticker sheets I was playing around with making last fall um, that I drew on Procreate and then did on my Cricut. Um, both in shiny and matte. Um, more pen, these are fountain pen cartridge refills. Got some Mod Podge. Um, some white charcoal pencils. So just sort of like I said, a mishmash of stuff in that one. So this middle drawer is like my electronic stuff. So like, um, and like, like work related stuff. Um, so I have like binder clips in here, um, extra paint brushes. I have, um, extra 
tips for my Apple Pencil, um, bookmark tassels and bookmarks, extra paintbrushes. So just like, again, probably a mishmash, but like mostly business. I have like, you know, desk related stuff in there. This set of drawers is a little more interesting. Um, let's start at the bottom. So this bottom drawer is all my ink. So I've got all my different bottles of ink in here. Um, most of these I talked about in my getting started with pen and ink video. So if you want me to, if you want to see any of these specific bottles, I think they're all over in that video. Um, and then I also have my Derwent Ink Tents blocks in here. Because, you know, ink tents, ink. <laughs> I just figured it would be an easy way to find them. This is sort of my pastel and gouache drawer. So I have the rest of my pan pastels in here in the back. The ones that I'm not currently using, I keep in here in this box along with all the things that came with it. You can see I probably have most of them out. Um, and then I have the rest of my, what's left of this box of my gouache. And some mishmash again, Copic markers, my Caran d'Ache watercolor pencils, some sketch box stuff, my little, when, <laughs> when it's cold in the winter, my little fingerless mitts for working with from my aunt. <laughs> This is a lot of like Copic stuff. Um, these were extra papers for my other palette, but like, and then some extra paintbrushes that I, these are gouache, I think, or I've been using them for gouache. Um, and then I have like some extra like Copic type stuff in here and um, my color race pencils and some alcohol inks, my little set of acrylic paint markers. And then there's um, some stuff from, oh, this shouldn't be in here. This should be in my watercolor drawer. These are my Starry Night Kurtaki um, metallic watercolors. These are awesome if you haven't tried those. Um, I've got some inks in here, an old camera, and some sketchbox stuff, just loose sketchbox stuff that I put in here. Up here we have um, extra ampersand boards for taping things down to a sketchbook I'm currently using. These are um, all my records about which colors of which products I have and what's light fast and what's not. Um, and then I've got some art books mixed in with some um, kids books that I was looking at for inspiration plus again some more sketchbooks that I'm currently using. Okay, we've turned around. Um, we're back over by my um, bullet journaling desk, and this is where I keep my um, dip pens. And then this top drawer is other supplies. I've got some fabric in here, some ribbons, some embroidery floss, um, stuff like that in here. I do also like to, let's see if I can do it. I like to knit, <laughs> and I also like to do embroidery. Um, I've got extra, um, the mission golds that weren't light fast are there. This drawer, I think, is mostly, yeah, nothing exciting in this. Um, and then this drawer is where I keep the oh hoo hoo markers I have. I've got the pastel set, the skin set, and I think, I don't remember which set this is. All of these I've bought myself. Um, that's what I have for in here, plus the pastel set and the skin tone set. I realized I forgot to, to show you right there. That's my little tabletop easel with the painting I'm working on. Okay, so that's my whole little studio. It is a little cluttered and it is packed to the gills, but it's my place and I'm very grateful to have a place I can go and shut the door because before that I was working at the kitchen table. So I am grateful to have it. I hope you enjoyed the little studio tour. I'm not going to be able to link everything down below. It's just way too much stuff. So if there's something specific that you want to know more about, ask it in the comments. And if it's, if I'm not ab absolutely overwhelmed with comments, I'll do my best to answer those and let you know what stuff is or what I have or whatever. If you'd like to join us over on Patreon, we're having a lot of fun over there. I have, everything is still only a 
four dollars for one tier um, and we have the sketchbook club where each month has a theme and then each week I post three prompts for you to do within that theme and then we have our Facebook group and our discord group for posting our art and chatting in the discord group does seem to be a little more active than the Facebook group um, so if you're looking for that daily interaction the discord group would probably be your best bet um, and then I also am doing four reference photos a month for you to download. Uh, they're all taken by me and mostly nature inspired. We are also doing our create creativity and art journaling um, where I post a written prompt with a video showing me going through that prompt that I made up and then uh, later on in the month I do another video where I show how to turn that prompt into an art journaling page. So if you'd like to join us over there, we'd love to get to know you better and we're having a lot of fun and we'd love to see you there. If you haven't hit like and subscribe yet, please do so. That helps YouTube realize this is quality content and then it shows, to, shows it to more people and that helps support my channel. Thank you for being here with me today and until next time, happy creating!